Hey, good morning to Chuck D back again. So just to recap, as y'all know, um, I'm on a load right now. I picked it up at Elite Wheels. I'm taking it to Amarillo. So I'm about a day and a half ahead of schedule. So I'm probably going to do a repower because <clears throat> I'm only 530 miles. And like I said, this load is due on the 10th. So it's currently 730. So I'm going to roll out. Um, I don't even really have to rush now. But roll out later tonight or in the middle of the night. And hopefully drop this off in Dallas. And then one of y'all might end up with this load. And then I'll end up taking another load. So I had an interesting night. I was on um, I was on Interstate 10 coming up to uh, Baton Rouge. I think that's how you say it. So I hit that area around... Uh, 145 2 a.m and around that time there really wasn't anybody out you know it's just a few you know trucks here and there a few cars here and there and i'm driving you know minding my business and out of nowhere i just see all these cops i see like sheriff's department i see uh local pd i see highway patrol they just go flying past it just just flying i'm thinking like what in the hell is going on like crazy so I um, get on the CB and I'm asking, you know, the people that are going eastbound, you know, what's going up ahead for the westbound side. Nobody answered. So um, I'm like, well, whatever happens, um, I'm probably going to run into it eventually. So I continue driving. I get to the interchange. If you've ever been through Baton Rouge on 10, you know, how they have that um, interchange where um, 10 and Interstate 110 meets. It's like at a curve and then the bridge is like right there so as i'm um, going around the bend you know i look at the um i can see interstate 110 i see um you know all these cops and then i see a helicopter up above you know with the spotlight on and i already knew what time it was i'm like oh no it's a pursuit so you know in the back of my mind i'm thinking like is he gonna go um is he gonna get off 110 and go uh west on 10 or is he gonna go east that's the only thought I had in my mind. So, of course, um, he ends up going west. And we ended up meeting, like, right around the same time. So, he just goes, you know, flying past me. Pretty much the whole Louisiana is pretty much chasing this guy. So, I don't know what he did. I don't even know why he thought he was going to get away. Like, if y'all would have seen how many cops was on this man's ass, like, crazy. So... I um I let you know the people behind me, the truckers behind me, you know, know what's going on. Like, hey, it's a uh, pursuit up ahead. At this point, um, since you know he was fine, he was doing at least a hundred miles plus. So at this point, you know, that's when I started hearing people on the westbound, on the eastbound side of it, you know, saying high speed chase. You know, they're basically letting the westbound side know it's a chase. So eventually, um, it ended. You know. I couldn't, uh, they pretty much shut the interstate down because it ended, you know, right on the interstate. So that took about 15 minutes and then they reopened the lanes. And the way it ended, I'm guessing, I'm assuming he probably hit spike strips or something like that. Because I seen the tires, his tires were fucked up. And he tried to run because I could see him like um, in the median, you know, in the grass or whatever. So they had tackled him, I'm guessing. So I don't know what this guy did, but he was a fool to think he was going to escape. But yeah, it was kind of crazy saying that because, you know, I've seen, you know, pursuits, you know, on TV, but I never thought that I would see one, you know, right before my eyes. It was kind of, it's kind of interesting. But yes, that was the only um, interesting thing that happened pretty much the rest of the drive was um, pretty boring. So yeah, that's the story for the day. I'm about to eat something. I got me some, uh, bought me some more cereal. So I'm gonna eat that, go to sleep, cause I'm exhausted. So as I always tell you guys, continue staying safe. Y'all take it easy out there. Catch you later.